back, everyone, to another episode of, you know, Austria Hungary, the, the show you guys have been watching for a while, and where a lot of things have happened. One thing I didn't notice until last episode was that Yugoslavia has formed. Yes, people, Yugoslavia. I don't know how that happened, but I'm insanely worried because Yugoslavia has an insane amount of cores on my land, which basically gives all the other European powers a direct link to come and pick me up. And I don't like that. Okay, I also don't like the fact that we have this whole French Africa thing going on, and France really is trying to be um, a general just meanie right now and they really think that they're gonna win this and I'm gonna be like Psh, no and they're gonna be like Psh, yeah we could totally win this and I'm like Psh, no you can't because I won't let you I want this land just as badly as you do and even more so in fact because I planned all this way ahead of you and yeah that's basically the situation we're in right now I really don't know how much more of this land do I have to conquer before before we get 100%, like, seriously, I thought, we basically, uh, do I have enough now where I could basically just force them into, into conceit? They would not accept this offer yet. Just got over 52%. Okay, seems like, well, most of my other allies are also helping out, so I guess it's going to take just a little bit longer, but very soon I will have all this land. Very soon. Seems like I'm losing a colony out of Hessland. Hey, hey, don't do that. Okay, do I have enough for over here? No, I'm going to here soon. Just have to clear up that. Is that was protected? Yes! Okay, there we go. So I linked up that land finally, which is what I need to do. So now France can't really... I at least have the top parts of my empire connected, which is good. Now I just need the bottom parts of my empire connected. So one of these two guys are going to have to give up. If I can quickly get to this outer post right here, before the French get to any of this part, then I could easily beat them and be able to link my land up right there. Which would be nice, because then I have just one gigantic colony. And plus, Africa is actually looking pretty well divided in this, in this, like, new era. It seems like no one wants this, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna see if I can take this from everyone, since no one else wants it. I, I mean, I don't really need it, but I'm just gonna take it to see if, to see what happens if I take it. But yeah, Africa seems to be pretty well divided amongst me, France, and... Yeah, just keep giving me jindalism. Like, seriously, my people should be insanely jindalistic. And very, yeah, 10% jindalistic. Good job, people. I love you. <laughs> like, I seriously, seriously love you guys. You guys are definitely the product of my people. Okay, but we're gonna go, go on a little bit of a hunting spree. Probably go crush whatever little armies over here. I mean, it's really not that hard, but I'm just gonna go crush. Oh, no. Jim. Oh. Seems like our good friends of Greece is actually doing it for us. Uh, construction halted at the World Trade. Ah, that's fine, me. Just spend as much as you need. I really don't care. And it seems like we got our colonies. Okay, chat. Boom. Can I please make the protectorate before France? Ah, oh, seems like I can't. You guys over here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the British are probably going to fight me for this colony right here. Which is going to end up in a big, gigantic me versus British war, which is actually kind of scary-ish, not really, I mean, oh, I'm surprised Jim, wow, I'm surprised Jimmy got some colonies in there too, so yeah, Jimmy's also doing a little bit of colonialization, that's pretty cool, now, Persia, you about done, Persia, still not done, how are you guys not done, I mean, literally, I got you guys basically on the trim, nothing else, I mean, I, I basically defeated you, I mean, there are some... Not to German. Hey, Cocand, would you guys want to peace out? Uh, no, you guys don't want to. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna. This is gonna end in a couple minutes. Let's just say that. Hopefully, at least. Hopefully. If not, I'll literally go send an army to go defeat the mighty. Uh, I think we probably get some access to Afghanistan because they don't hate me. Yeah, Afghanistan doesn't hate me. Persia. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, seems like I'm losing. How am I losing? Okay, I literally have three, and they have two. That does not constitute as losing. And there we go. So once once we start fighting over this land, we're going to have a good time. Speaking of which, I don't think I've ever actually given my opinion on how I think of the new colonial system in this game. Alright, you guys. 
you guys will just basically be the protectors of Persia. I'm going to have you guys go back and be protectors of my little colony over here. Kind of isolated, but yeah, be my little protectors. So, um, basically, I think my thoughts on the entire new colonial system they invented was, while it's a good idea, I don't think in practice it actually is that fun or really good. And it seems like there's a crisis right now developing. You know, I'll be in one of the, I'll be on the fence. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be one of the main guys. If somebody wants to really do this, I'll do it, but organize Libya, yay. Uh, National Conference, yay, but I'm not going to be one of the people that sides with the West Galatian, you know, stuff happening. The Arabian Revolt, put them down. Uh, perhaps self governance will make them happy. Uh, huh. Put them down. Yeah. <laughs> if they, if, I really want to see what they could actually do. Like, if, if they actually think they could actually take me on, I'd love to see that. Okay, if, if they really do think they could take me on, then let's try this. Oh, come on, I didn't beat them. That really does, I, I really do swear, like, sometimes a computer has too much of an advantage when it comes to, like, colonialization. Because seriously, I started that colony way before they did. And somehow they caught up to me. Like, you know what I mean, people? Like, seriously, that should not happen. I should be able to beat them easily, but somehow I lost. Alright, liberals gain consciousness. Sure, the liberals can gain consciousness all they want. I don't really care about the liberals. And once my army gets back over here, I can do a lot of stuff. Speaking of which, of a lot of stuff, I can start upgrading land! Oh, my favorite thing to do in this game. Let's just keep upgrading land, keep upgrading land, keep upgrading... Oh, that's Russian land. I don't upgrade that kind of land. Upgrade this land, upgrade this land, upgrade this land, upgrade, Ooh, upgrade this land, upgrade this land. Ooh, I can also build a port probably. Yes, I can build a port. Oh, and I can also build a port right here and also upgrade this land. Upgrade this land, yes. So yeah, keep building up stronger ports right there. And let's see, this probably cancel out all, yeah, all of my progress I made over here. Let's start getting more. Let's see, there's also more progress over here. Yep, yep, yep. Keep getting more stuff over there. Let's see, you guys are still all... You guys are about to finish, so I should come back to you very, very soon. But, let's get back to Austria and Hungarian Persia. I love that name right there. Oh, man. Alright, so West Galicia did not exuberate enough uh, stuff for us to really care. Spain's still having some difficulties. Not really difficulties, just they're being, they don't really care about the people. Let me reopen all the factories that closed... Because I was at war, and sometimes factories close at war for no real reason except to close, so... And sometimes it's always good to reopen everything. And gain fine prestige, of course. But, repeal prohibition! Uh, no. I like, I personally like prohibition, so... Yeah. Social alienation? Sure, let's start getting... I'm just gonna think I'm gonna finish off all the culture economics. Because right now, I'm basically ahead of most of my competition. How am I behind right here? Seriously, I literally have more than they do. Also, create the create the state right here. Okay. Gosh. Wow. Okay, and right here, yeah, we're gonna keep fighting them. We're not giving we're not giving those uh, Brits a break. They're either gonna give up or they're going to give up. That's my stance on it. I can also organize Niger, which I'm going to do right now. Yeah. Repeal prohibition again. I'm not gonna do that. I like the fact that I that my country is not drunk all the time. Okay, I like the fact of that. Plus, it gives me a good, it gives me like good reasons to do stuff, and it gives me more power. So, yeah, keep prohibition. <laughs> all right, and it looks like there's some little countries breaking out of hail. The Jed somehow broke out. I really don't know how that happened, but apparently it happened. And yeah, we're fighting basically this last little piece of land, both right here and right there, with both France and and the British, because they're both being kind of jerks. Literally, neither one will want to give up their colonies to us, and I'm really getting sick of that. Like, seriously, I don't know how France keeps getting, like, keeping up with us, when literally they should not. Apparently, also, some of our factories have crumbled, which I'm going to help destroy, because as I said before... The factories that crumble, we really don't need anymore. I mean, literally, it would be a pain to go through all the factories that we don't need anymore. But yeah, there we go. And like... 
We should also at some point start clearing out all the factories that don't make us any money. That's probably the next step. The next step in our, like, evolution as a society. But for right now, what I should probably start to do is probably start lowering taxes. <laughs> Which is a funny thing for me to say, but yeah. Oh, heck no. I'm keeping my taxes for the rich about there, because the rich don't really help me out. There we go. Yeah, but for the middle class, they could actually gain the less taxes. Because I don't really care about their... Yeah, aggravate the liberals. I really don't care about the liberals. Liberals can go somewhere. And also, we should also be... Oh, Timbuktu! Yay, apparently I took over Timbuktu! Because no one else wanted it! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's kind of a stupid reason. I think... Let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to have to make a decision. Do I want to fight France... Or do I want to fight the the British? If I was to go to war with either one, which one I'd rather fight? Um, let's see. Allied with them. How did how did Russia secure both UK and? Oh yeah, and I can upgrade them. There we go. And let me also get my cool forts and railroads. Uh, but yeah, because I do want my land right here to be connected. But I just don't know if I want these guys. You know, because mm, it seems like they're both going to fight me for this, so, you know what? <sighs> France seems like it will go all the way, and so does the British. Which one do I want to fight, though? Organize Mali? Of course I'll organize Mali. Uh, but it depends. Which one do I want to fight? Do I want to fight the French, or do I want to fight the British? Um, let's see. Relative strength, the British have exactly 258 soldiers. So, in terms of manpower, and I have, like, 201 soldiers. Probably could build that up a little bit, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Holy... Yep, I could build that up. <laughs> Finally, I could stop building stuff up. But, so... Uh, I really don't know. Because right here could also develop into a crisis where they basically have to fight each other, which would be really awesome. But... I don't know if I should give up this or give up that. Because I want one of these. Seriously. I, I have to have one of these. That way my land is not divided. Very stupidly, man. I had to look really stupid if one of these, like, both divided into two. But, yeah, if I could get all this. You know what? I'm going to try to invest into this one. Honestly, this one's the one I really want. This one's just kind of more of a one that I can kind of get. I mean, it really... Either one basically doesn't provide me with really good resources. It's just more of connecting land and looking borders look pretty. So, I'll withdraw for this one. But I'm not withdrawing from this one. Uh, if the French want to fight me in this matter, bring it on, France. I mean, I'm literally going to destroy them. I Literally, I really will destroy them. Because, quite frankly, I think I'm having the fifth biggest army right now. That's what it says publicly. But really... A little bit stronger army just due to all the alliances I have literally my alliance sphere is insanely powerful so let's see yeah let's make child labor illegal while we're here while I'm thinking about it, let's make child labor illegal oh gosh it sounds terrible on my part but yeah we have to kind of make sure we atone for any kind of weird stuff that happens keep upgrading forts land that's Newly underneath our control. I mean, yeah, we definitely need to upgrade Egypt so it's a really kick ass place to live in terms of military, at least. All right, and let's see right there. Let's see, is there anything else I forgot? Now, nah, I got everything in Egypt, and let us continue. The Suez Canal dividends. Yes, the Nobel Peace Prize. Yay! We got the Nobel Peace Prize, even though our country is totally not peaceful and we are totally like a war hawkish country. Huzzah! Oh! I did not know that was actually still colonizable land. Well, Britain's gonna look very weird in terms of like how they look in Africa. I'm really hoping France is... France is really fighting a lot of people for different lands. And I already know what colony you guys are looking at. Yeah, no. France, give up. This is my land. Okay. Uh, medium endowment. Let's see. Uh, pollution, you know, if it gives me a couple more factory maintenance, that's fine. But, oh wait, safety regular. Well, a lot of people want a lot of these good safety stuff. 
Uh, but really, I'm not gonna give you guys pensions because right now pensions would kill my kill me. We could probably give you guys a few standards in terms of pollution. Let's see, how much does that make me pay? Eh, not too bad. That's that's okay. That's not like crippling, you know, hugely bad. By the way, apparently we get coffee. Okay, but apparently we're gonna make our new naval base in Tripoli because that's the way our new naval base is going to be. I don't like the the liberals are really starting to aggravate me because now they're starting to really gain power. Oh my goodness, how did how did liberalism get to 38% of my people? And Italy, it took only two episodes, too. Like, I swear, I was looking at this just a couple days ago, and it was literally, like, mostly conservatives. What happened, people? What the heck happened? Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um... I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that uh, France will give up on this colony right here, but I'm not entirely sure. I am literally right here waiting. I am literally right here waiting. The 15th of May, I am literally right here. Right here. I'm right here. Waiting. Uh, kaboom. Wait, 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 wait. Liberals? Ah, oh, dang. I have to actually care about the liberals now. Shoot. Because now they actually have power. Okay, there we go. Yes. Yes. Don't you dare mess with me. Don't you dare mess with me, France. I'm pretty sure... By the way, France, if you guys go to war with Germany, make sure you invite me, because I will probably help you guys out in that war. I mean, I know... I know we're enemies in a lot of different ways, but when it comes to the Germans, we can both agree they're not a good thing. So, yeah. Also, I'm going to make some new uh, artillery, because I can. Apparently, a lot of my explosive factories are a little bit crumbling right now, which is not exactly good. Um, I saw my canneries are also starting to collapse, but I have enough canneries right now to uh, support my people, so I don't have too much regret. There's still one more. There it is. I was like, there's still one more factory I'm forgetting about. There we go. And now we're just going to sit here. The Nobel Peace Prize. Yay. Yeah, go people. You guys are really winning me lots of good stuff for our country. For the country of mighty Austria. All right. When's the next time I can do this? Okay, the 8th and the 14th, so I, I have a little bit. So, while we're waiting for this, I have to start thinking about new spheres and new conquest. I mean, we could go after an entire Yemen hail attack, but I really don't see what the benefit would be. Uh, over here, dude, can we upgrade the... Oh yeah, we can also upgrade the uh, forts over here too. Ooh, ooh, this is so exciting. Upgrading forts, upgrading forts... Alright. Oh, I didn't upgrade the forts over here? Dang. I'm a little bit lazy in that respect. Especially since this is probably going to be where I'm going to be fighting China the most. So, it's a good thing those forts are going to be upgraded. Down here, did I upgrade all the forts? Yes, the level 4. And over here, all my mainland. Yet. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Apparently some of my mainland is not level 4. Whoops. That's kind of bad on my part. Oi. Okay, tis is whatever you want to say. And let's see, the 8th. It's coming up. Okay! First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Uh, throw a willy-nilly. Conservative. Ah, uh, dang levels. Okay, and... One second, guys. One second. No. Boom. Yeah. You aren't getting ahead of me, France. I'm definitely gonna fight you to the very end of this one. I'm also hoping that Germany fights you to the very end of this one. So that you guys will get completely distracted. And apparently you guys give up on this colony. Good. That's a good sign right there. It seems like some people are revolting. Spain's still in that whole situation. They're not going to deal with those people on the island. Which is kind of a little bit annoying. Okay, let's see. You guys. What are you guys? Okay, I'll tell you guys go this way. I'll tell you, yeah, you guys go this way. Because I'm going to have you guys group up with this new unit over here. And yeah. This is probably just going to be a new army unit I'm creating over here. Uh, 10 reactionaries. Dang, these liberals just keep getting more power. I don't like it. I really don't like it, but I guess it's the price I have to pay. <laughs> for having such a free system. A free and honorable system in Austria. And it seems like we can upgrade more forts. Totally going to do that. Alright, gain some publicity. Totally upgrade more forts. Totally upgrade more forts. Yes, totally upgrade more forts. Seems like we upgrade all the forts we can over there. Yeah. Wow. Some of these colonies are actually just as armored as some of my own as some of my own uh states are. Which is actually pretty 
I'm actually pretty proud right there because that means that when somebody tries to invade this, like any of my states, literally any of them are just going to be like, Shh, you want to challenge me? Oh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.